When you hear that theme song, you know you're going to be seeing me, Billy Crystal, I mean Joe Franklin, saying welcome to the uh, Joe Franklin Show. We are with you in prime time, 1 o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday. And Sunday morning, we Monday morning actually, right after midnight on Sunday, we give you the best of the Joe Franklin Show. I want to thank on last week's bests, uh, Irwin Corey, Joey D, Senator Eugene McCarthy, and Roger Williams for being just plain spectacular. I was mentioning yesterday, before I talk about today's show, I was mentioning that uh, this is a service nation and a survey nation. Everybody does surveys. The uh, networks, the uh, political parties, even the, the survey companies do surveys. Well, I think the definitive survey on movies, the one I'm going to summarize for you today, was done by Siena College in Loudonville, uh, New York. They surveyed 2,800 film critics, professors of film, and readers of a journal called Film and History to learn which films in 11 categories rated tops uh, with that kind of knowledgeable uh, uh, criticism. And I give you now the uh, three categories that I think might uh, wind it up for me. These are the three based on 2,800 uh, learned people. The Western, the top Western ever based on that survey. The Searchers and One Point Behind, High Noon. Then came Shane, Stagecoach, that means the original Stagecoach, with John Wayne. Red River, My Darling Clementine, Wild Bunch, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, and The Oxbow Incident, those are the westerns. In the field of mystery and crime, number one, far and away, The Maltese Falcon. Rear Window, Godfather, Chinatown, Double Indemnity, Godfather Two, Bonnie and Clyde, Vertigo, Psycho, and Rebecca. One more category, Science Fiction. Landslide, number one, no contest, 2001, A Space Odyssey in science fiction. Day the Earth Stood Still, Star Wars, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Forbidden Planet, Blade Runner, Aliens, and The Thing. That's the, uh, now the thing about today's show is that I got a lot of variety, including a tribute to the mystical, marvelous 1950s and 60s with the Velvetones and Robert Callender and, uh... An old friend of ours who used to be known as Harry Hepcat. And uh, what I've got to begin with, and, and Chip DeFar, by the way, Chip DeFar of the New York Post as my anchorman because he knows his 1950s and 60s and his jazz heritage. I want to begin, though, with what we call our fitness break, a little bit of uh, what goes on in our quest for youth and beauty. Mona Sands with her face her size, a little bit of her very popular video. And Michael Reed Gott with greater energy at your fingertips, which means acupressure to easily increase your vitality in 10 minutes in case you're kind of drooping. But nobody droops on this program. As we say, let's lean back and get... Oh, by the way, got to tell you, apropos of movie memorabilia with uh, some of the people today from Film Facts magazine, we're going to bring back the gimmicks that they've used through the years, CinemaScope and AromaVision and, and VistaVision, all the different the technological uh, leaps uh, that have uh, tried to bring the people back into the movie theaters. As for right now, you're in the Joe Franklin Theater. Let's lean back and get ready for a big, big show. We're lucky right now to put the spotlight on. You fan of 1950s music, Jim? Say yes, say yes, yes please. Definitely yes. Chip, you for sure, right? We're enjoying it, yeah. This is the subject known as rock and roll legends, and I say it again, out of the uh, 60s into the 80s, and uh, they have sold so many records. They've formed and reformed and organized and reorganized, but we've got one of the founders here today. We give you the uh, Velvetones and their classic, or one of their classics, Come Go With Me. Velvetones. Dum, 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 de do be dum, 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 de do be dum, 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 de do be dum, ooh, wah, 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 wah. Yeah. 
shape your future. I would love to ask uh, Robert Callender's opinion of today's hit singles. Uh, uh, how many of them could have been originally hit singles, though, Bobby, of the 50s and 60s without the kids of the 80s? Realizing it, you know what I'm saying? Because they, the old, the old point. ones do pop up all the time again. That's don't a they? good point. I think what's interesting about today's music uh, business is that there's such a wide audience, and uh, the group that was on the Velvet Tones, uh, their music is still enjoyed today. That was a most entertaining and hot rendition by the Velvet Tones. Yeah. Did you like that, Mr. Defoe? Oh yeah, it's good time music, you know. A little bit on the <laughs> life and time. Yeah. opened our program today talking about surveys and categories and any survey, I guess, chip of uh, early Greenwich Village of the 50s and 60s. This young man uh, ranks high. Uh, we got to ask Mad Jack for any uh, highlight uh, remembrance of uh, that era who might have appeared with you and uh, who went on to even uh, more fame from those days. Oh, all the top guys played opposite uh, Bob Dylan uh, down there in the village. That was taken in 1967, Joe Wallace cuts it from the... 60s, but it's out right now in Europe, and you can get it in the States at Venus Records. They distribute it in the village, Greenwich Village on 8th Street. Gorgeous album and <clears throat> beautiful liner notes. Whoever wrote these liner notes, of course, you need pretty good uh, magnifying glass to Yeah, read. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I yeah. loved what he said about Emerjo, was it, those, those, those films, because Joe, we used to do that all the time, Joe. <laughs> That's all known. the time. That's known as uh, as 3D <laughs> uh, in 60. Chip, what's your feeling about any of these? First, let me say that uh, Steve Michaels and Nick Chiavetta of the Velvet Tones have been appearing recently with the uh, Belmonts, the Regents, the Cadillacs, the Paragons, the Jive Five, and yesterday's news. That leaves nobody out, right, Chip? Just right. about. What do you want to say about this group? One thing I think is interesting is they're not trying, it looks like, to exactly recreate or copy somebody. They're trying to put a little of themselves in that. That's well, typical of your work? That's The thing is right. Um, we're trying to... Uh, well, that kind of music is great, okay? You take that kind of music and you, you update it, and you put your own flair to it, your own taste to it. Me and Nick have both worked on it, and the rest of the group very hard on it. That's what we've come up with. Guess where they're from, Chip? 
You'd never guess. Everybody in the whole world comes from the same place they do. That's right. The Bronx. That's right. Oh. Just like the Belmonts and um, uh, well, Joey D's from the Bronx also. Yeah, and your tenor saxes sound like you had a little jazz background in there too. Yeah, he's from uh, the Bronx also. What particular uh, block? Morris Park. So you could have called yourself the Morris Parks. <laughs> right. Or the Townsend Avenues, or the University Avenues. Ladies and gentlemen, we wish much... So name any gig. Any, oh, by the way, Robert Callender wants the whole world to know he'll be appearing in June at the Limelight. Watch for Robert Callender at the Limelight. And where do we catch the... Uh, we'll be playing June 14th at uh, Pelham Bay, and uh, the Bronx also are doing a veterans benefit. And Mad Jack all over the place. Germany. Next. Really? Yeah. Big tour. And Chip DeFa. I want you to meet one more young man following these words. Let's watch carefully. We shall return. Romance aboard the luxury cruise ship Spirit of New York with live entertainment and hors d'oeuvres. Come into any Newmark and Lewis store and take home two free tickets for an enchanting evening. How could I not say that Mr. Uh, Michaels wants the entire show today to be devoted to Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, Buddy Holly, the Beatles, the Beach Boys, and Dion and the Belmonts. Is that good uh, dedicating, uh, Chip? Appropriate. And my good friend Tommy Rocco, who sings the Russ Colombo songs, would love you to review his forthcoming LP. Would you do it, maybe? We'll see. Mm -hmm. And give it a, what we call uh, an N for nostalgia. The big song once was called Crosby, Colombo, and Valley, right? Mm. And the big song today was called The Velvet Tones and Mad Jack and Robert Callender and you and me. Stay well. for the ball.